big welcome to Moral Mage. Every week we discuss major and a few minor issues that concern morality. Well, what is morality? I don't know, but uh, I, I play a moral person on TV. Chantelle Joyce joins us from Campaign Life Coalition. She has all her papers here of immoral things that are going on. Yep. Now, let's begin, because this one is very exciting, to me in particular, oh. because it's from Britain, yeah. and it has the three-letter word in it, box, B-O-X. Yeah. Let's see a clip now, please. We asked couples to have sex in a box and then talk about it. It felt really connected afterwards. Along with world-leading sex experts, we're exploring the sex life. Mm. It felt really connected afterwards. You know, I'm a stupid slot, really, and I want to be on TV. No, it, you can't look, call it, them that. What is it, Channel 5 or something? Channel 4. Oh, Channel 4. Well, I used to work for Channel 4. Did year, you? First year of Channel 4, <laughs> 1984. Was it your pitch that that started? No, I wrote a series called The Outsiders. Oh. It was interviews with all sorts of interesting people, but... Hmm. <laughs> Sex in a box sounds intriguing. Well, I mean, the whole premise of it, they call it an open and honest look at sex within a loving relationship. And loving. I, I, yeah, they, they make it a are loving they in love or relationship. They just... Well, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. The couples are not all married. Uh, there's a gay couple that's uh, on there. Well, and gay couples can be in love. They Unmarried can be, couples right? can be uh, in love. Of course. I mean, but I, what's the definition of a loving marriage? I don't know. I don't know what their definition is. But the whole premise of the show is they're going to go into this uh, funny looking, I don't know, closed box. It's supposed to be soundproof, cameraless, and they're supposed to, for 30 minutes, do something. And 30 you, minutes? Good Lord, 30 they're British. Minutes. I don't know. So, I mean, the whole premise of the show is that these sex experts sit there and they talk about yeah. what's going to happen and they talk about what sex is like. And the, like, and then the couples the host come out. Is I mean, she's oh, a figure of fun. Look, to, to quote the words, I think it was foreigner. Um, I want to know what love is. I want someone to show me. Or was it Boston? I think it was foreigner. <laughs> I, la, love is overused. It's a redundant term now. They're, they're, they're just. I mean, they're, they're exchanging bodily fluid. That's what they're doing in, in a box. Now it's pretty absurd that they want to do this in right. a box. But everybody. Britain here, they want to be what they think is famous for a few minutes and there's nothing well, more famous than being it, on TV. They're calling it reclaiming pornography. They say that uh, sex is so misunderstood in and the, the box, way you it's You can't depicted. see it. How can it be pornographic? Right, and the whole idea of is it that it's not supposed to be pornographic. They're supposed to come out of the box and have a healthy discussion on it. So apparently if you do it right after, there's less of a narrative that you construct because you can, you can go and have sex at home and the next day come onto a TV set and talk to experts about it. But apparently do, talking about it right after will give it a fresh new perspective on things and you can have an honest discussion on it. I don't know what's honest about two people who are on a TV show. They obviously have some sort of inclination to be willing to do those things. I don't know what healthy, normal couple would really want to have sex on a TV, like on a TV set and well, then talk about it. Unless you're a porn star and I guess that's completely healthy and natural and then, you know, doing you, you it on got, a set you got to remember, that this is it. the, uh, oh, here I get into trouble. This is the Princess Diana generation. When you have millions of people who weep, who are hysterical because someone they've never met and really know very little about actually died, an indulgent young woman uh, died, we, we've lost all sense of credibility. We, we, we've lost all sense of stability. They want to be on TV, they are for a few moments, they talk about it, they don't really, they just say words and cliches and spasms. Right. Um, what is meant to be private, sex and sexuality, it's a beautiful thing mm -hmm. and it's meant to be private, yeah. it's not in public, uh, yeah. what, what, what we're meant to talk about, I know, issues of maybe faith or prayer and mm. devotion. Those don't talk about those at all. No. So we have everything turned upside down. I mean, down. well, sex sells, and this is their way to sell it. It does. And the box set of Sex in a Box, by the way, for uh, DVDs is available at uh, www.brianlilly.com. <laughs> no, I, that's, I'm not, that's a joke. Brian, I was joking. Uh, let's move on to Australia. Yeah. And uh, my daughter's in New Zealand right now, by oh. the way, which is further from Australia than you think. You think they're close together? I, I I imagine, yeah, yeah, it was close, anyway, but not so much. Uh, Australia and the pro-life movement, and we've discussed this on the show before, I wish people would realise that the violence is uh, invariably, exclusively from the so-called pro-choice people mm -hmm. against pro-lifers. Another clip, please. By the way, this does not involve sex in a box, apparently. Let's see it. Pretty standard now, pro-lifers uh, marching along peacefully and they're physically attacked. And mm -hmm. the, Now the police occasionally intervene, but frequently they just turn away. Well, I mean, hit and miss on the police, but in 
Australia, it was completely missed. Uh, the poor balloons, first of all. I mean, that was only the beginning of the assault. It's a guy they're punching at someone. Yeah, it, well, it, what it was, I, I think it was some sort of utensil that he was just, it was, it was stabbing at all the balloons. But yeah. apparently that was the beginning of things. There was about 3,000 pro-life demonstrators yeah. and uh, about uh, 200 abortion protesters. And what they were doing were pretty much assaulting an entire rally. So the rally has been going on for years. It's called the March for Babies, and, mm. and it happens every year. Nothing new about it just like here you get a permit there's organizers they speak to the person in command and they're supposed to protect this group of people and and a peaceful protest which is what by law everyone is entitled to mm -hmm. and according to uh, activists there they say that right from the start they had an entire backlash of support and apparently the commander said you know we don't really uh, you know we don't really support your cause and apparently through the entire assault where uh, Elderly women were injured, their signs were thrown to the ground. There's about a half dozen people who have come out and said they were physically assaulted mm. in the, the presence of a police officer who witnessed it. And the police officers were ordered not to do anything. Several police officers came up to uh, the pro-life uh, pro activists and said, you know, we see that, we're sorry, but we've been ordered not to do anything. Mm. What happens is along this Sounds march... Like Caledonia, doesn't it? I don't, I, I don't know, and I, I don't know how to describe this, but it's upsetting that a group of people, they go up three blocks, and at the three block yep. point, they're stopped by a line of these uh, abortion activists who are... You know, and I hate to give the culture a bad name, playing, you know, heavy metal music. They look like they came heavy from... Heavy metal music? I, I, yeah, out of their speakers, Good out of their God. boxes, and they're drumming along to it. Wasn't just sex being, in a box, was it? Just, just being obnoxious. Right. Well, they are. They're, 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 they're a bunch of wankers, and they're aggressive, and they're bullies, and they, yeah. they, they, you know, they wouldn't go up to, uh, I don't know, a, a neo-Nazi rally and do this because they probably have the what's it beaten out of them, so they do it to elderly people, quite a few and, elderly and if people you who are pro-life. I know, I know. I mean, the poor people are just standing just, there, just Before we go, along. because there's a certain theme developing here, Mm -hmm. in your moral maze. Your guide to the porn e full movie oh, season. You've got about 20 seconds. It More porn? The craziest movies. I mean, you have the craziest movies this season. Some of them are trying to fix the problem that we have. Don John by Jason Go Joseph Gordon Levitt and CadenCatholics.net does a great piece on yeah, how yeah. the entire yeah, right. film it's industry okay. is just going backwards and forwards. Uh, and th this is news? I don't know, but I mean, this season we have uh, couples who want to turn into swingists and they go to strip clubs together for fun. Right. We have uh, soccer coaches who can statutory rape their soccer playing teammates we have lesbian couples that win the Cannes Film Festival I mean you have all across the board uh, pedophilia is becoming acceptable and this we are oh, going you're, to you're gratify. including way too much pedophilia is not becoming acceptable there are certain oh, in, people in, in some of these movies there are certain saying, people well I, I challenge you on that there are some, you've got to be careful in what you say because otherwise we, we lose the argument yes there is a legitimization of pornography and of perversion one could right. argue Peter fit it on the very fringes of the fringe. There's a little bit of, right. of, 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 of pushing going on, however. Well, I mean, anyway, we, we, have, we have to break, because we're running out of time. I mean, this is not a pornographic movie or no. sex in a box. We, we have a time limit I here. Know. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.